Y ya estamos al aire. Bienvenidos a nuestro programa Belleza y Algo Más, o en inglés, Beyond Beauty. Gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Este programa es para todas y todos ustedes. Para aquellos que nunca se han conectado al programa, les quiero contar de que hoy tenemos un programa súper, súper exciting. ¿Por qué? Primero, porque vamos a hacer la rifa. Hemos venido haciendo una rifa acerca de un cambio de imagen. ¿Qué incluye el cambio de imagen? Nuestro cambio de imagen incluye un corte de cabello, eh, cambio de color, si se necesita o si la persona lo requiere, um, un maquillaje, una foto profesional y obviamente una pieza de diseñador, que quiere decir si quieres una blusa o, o un vestido entero, se te va a conseguir, se te va a obsequiar con tu premio. Hoy se va a hacer la rifa y nuestra invitada que tenemos el día de hoy va a sacar el premio ganador, va a sacar a la persona que va a ganar. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Tenemos una cajita de balotas, o sea, una cajita de nombres, donde vamos a estar sacando y vamos a sacar tres. Primero eliminado, el segundo eliminado y el último que se saque será el ganador. Ah, las dos primeras que saquemos, que obviamente van a estar eliminadas, no van a ser perdedoras porque también se les va a obsequiar a un producto de maquillaje a cada una, dos productos de maquillaje a cada una. Así que nos tienen que dar sus datos para nosotros poder hacerles llegar sus productos y que no se queden sin su premio de consolación. Bueno, uh, hoy tenemos una invitada súper especial. Uh, su nombre es Jennifer de Cancel. Es una police officer. Así que ella nos trae una historia súper linda. Tenemos muchísimo que decir acerca de ella uh, porque está haciendo una labor Increíble, con unas chicas adolescentes que viven en sectores de alto riesgo, sectores vulnerables, donde hay demasiado crimen y ellas están, digamos, todo el tiempo están afectadas y sobre todo expuestas al peligro. Entonces, ella como policía se ha dedicado a esto de salvarlas, digámoslo de una manera, de ese, es de ese ambiente, creando un grupo donde ella las apoya, les hace mentoría, les ayuda a sentirse diferentes y que no necesitan parecerse al ambiente donde ellas están, que ellas pueden lograr cosas mejores. Así que bueno, en un ratito vamos a estar cambiando nuestra, um, ¿cómo se dice? nuestra programación o nuestra proyección a idioma inglés. En este momento lo estoy haciendo en español. ¿Por qué? Porque quería hablar de algo que, es, que nos interesa a nosotras las latinas. Ayer estuvimos en una conferencia que se llamó Latinas Business Ladies. No sé quiénes de ustedes que están conectadas estuvieron con nosotras. Si están conectadas, por favor, hacen la manito y salúdenos, porque de verdad que fue una tarde llena de muchísimo, pero muchísimo poder, de muchísima energía. Ana estuvo allí, estuvimos cubriendo con dos en línea. Ana, ¿a ti qué te pareció? Cuéntame un poquito de qué sentiste en esa conferencia de mujeres. Hola Paola, ¿cómo estás? Hola. Feliz, feliz, feliz. Ya estamos en vivo con Belleza y Algo Más con Paola Ortiz. Te cuento que la conferencia estuvo grandiosa. Eh, para haber sido el primer año fue un éxito total. Wow. Realmente. Lleno, total. Y muchas mujeres con deseos y sedientas de emprender su propio negocio. Realmente estoy impactada de ver la mujer al punto que ha llegado de empoderamiento, es grandioso y ayer lo pudimos notar en, este, en esta conferencia de, de LBL, LBL, de Latinas Business Ladies, Ladies. que estuvo grandiosa. Eh, fue, yo creo que eh, fue alrededor de 80 eh, participantes, 80 personas que fueron a ver la conferencia, Siete más personas. ustedes que fueron los... Lo, las oradoras, en los medios que estuvimos allá, que uh -huh. fue Dos en Línea TV haciendo la cobertura total. También estuvo Nevai con La Mega. Con La Mega. Creo que estuvo un, la revista La Guía, también, la guía si no Magazine. sé mal. Sí. Uh -huh. eh, entonces, sí, fue grandioso, grandioso. Qué gran, qué gran iniciativa tuvo Casey y Génesis al crear este grupo. Increíble. De verdad que fue una iniciativa espectacular. Yo me siento muy orgullosa de, que, de haber sido parte porque pensaron en mí. De verdad que es un honor. A veces uno dice, no, yo no sé qué voy a decir, qué voy a compartir, pero de verdad que fue una experiencia enriquecedora, no solo compartir mi experiencia, sino aprender de las otras chicas. A mí me pareció increíble todo lo que cada una de las oradoras decía, cómo, cómo contaban sus historias, y para mí me tocó muchísimo el corazón. Fueron, Fueron diez oradoras. Espectaculares todas las oradoras, de verdad que felicitaciones desde el fondo de mi corazón, de verdad les agradezco muchísimo, divinas todas. 
Y para que estén pendientes, Latinas Business Ladies, esto es una plataforma de ayuda a la mujer que quiere emprender su negocio o que ya tiene su negocio propio y que no sabe cómo moverse un poquito adelante con su social media, con uh, um, marketing, con una cantidad de herramientas, con taxes, por ejemplo, Katiuska nos habló de location, de cómo conseguir un location, de cómo rentar un lugar. And so many resources, a lot of things que fueron very, very, very key para aquellas chicas que quieren empezar y como les decíamos, o empezar su negocio o si ya tienen su negocio, seguir adelante con unas herramientas súper poderosas. Bueno, chicas, así que conéctense Latinas Business Ladies, LPL, o en Instagram, así como suena, arroba Latinas Business Ladies. De verdad que eso es muy importante. Conéctense porque muchísimas sorpresas vienen para el año que viene. O sea, si este año fue un lleno total y fue un boom, imagínense cómo será el año que viene. ¿Tú qué hablaste con las, con las asistentes? ¿Qué, ¿Qué dijeron las asistentes? ¿Qué, ¿Cómo se sintieron y cuál fue el feedback? Bueno, todas se fueron felices, felices. Eh, lo que te digo, fueron alrededor de, fueron 10, 11, 12 oradoras en total, uh -huh. las, las mujeres que nos dieron esas, esos tips y ese empoderamiento y quiero felicitar porque lo hiciste grandioso, <risa> subiste de tercera, de tercera, tercera oradora, sí. y fue grandioso, realmente muy bonito todo lo que dijiste, sí nos hiciste reír bastante, <risa> fue muy, 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 muy empoderador el haber asistido el día de ayer allá, eh, allá al evento. Salimos todas llenas de energía, sí. de verdad. Tenemos también que agradecer a, a los patrocinadores también que hicieron posible eso. Tenemos a Lumen, a Lumen, Lumen, Lumen. Marketing en Media uh -huh. con Fabiola y Ana Ley, que también hacen parte de Dos en Línea TV. Eh, ellas, Events, Katiuska, o sea, hubo muchos patrocinadores y muchísimas. A Jessica, energía. Jessica Gómez con Jessica Gómez, Permanent Permanent. You, que también hicieron yeah. rifas y todo. No, estuvo, estuvo muy, muy bueno el evento, muy bien organizado. Eh, muchos premios Demasiados, hubo muchísimos premios Yo me quería ganar varios Y yo no me gané bueno. nada <risa> Un abrazo grandísimo A Casey Sayago Que fue mi primera invitada a este programa No sé si se acuerdan Y a Génesis Rojas porque de verdad que hicieron Un, pro, una, un trabajo espectacular Hicieron un grandioso trabajo Les quedó todo divino y nosotros quedamos Súper contentos, de verdad que no me aburrí Un minuto. Ellas van a estar el miércoles en, ex, en Extraordinarios con Ana Vallejo Miércoles 6 de la tarde van a estar Las dos, Casey y Génesis O sea Para que, que no se pendientes. lo pierdan El programa del miércoles Extraordinarios con Casey Sayago Y Génesis Rojas De verdad que va a estar Espectacular y extraordinario Así que estén atentos porque seguimos Con la rifa, Ana está en estos momentos Preparando los nombres de las Personas que compartieron Nuestro programa, que participaron para un cambio De imagen y con nuestra invitada Cuando regresemos Al final del programa vamos a hacer La rifa, así que presentes Aquí en vivo vamos a decir Quién es nuestro ganador o ganadora Sigan conectadas, volvemos en unos segundos después de comerciales. Mi nombre es Mariana Santos y soy consultora de migración y refugio aquí en Canadá. Mi compañía se llama Santos y Associates Immigration Inc. Hacemos toda clase de documentación sobre inmigración. Llevamos a cabo refugios, razones humanitarias, visas de estudio, de trabajo, de turismo. Acérquese, consúltenos a nuestra oficina. Estamos siempre dispuestos para usted. Los espero aquí en Santos y Asociados, en la esquina de Kiel y Wilson, con una sonrisa para usted y para su familia. Muchas gracias. Hablando entre mujeres, tu programa que es diseñado para toda mujer que le gusta avanzar, que está esperando mucho más allá de ser tú misma. Hablando entre mujeres todos los días martes a las 7 de la noche, acompáñanos a tener una noche amena. So for you that you're listening, Hablando entre mujeres, Talking Between Women is the program you want to belong. Just come every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and we'll be gladly give you some details about women empowerment.
on me. Yes. Oh, we are back. <laughs> and we are here. I'm very happy. I'm very excited because I have a special guest. And her name is Jennifer DeCanzo. Thank you very much for being here, Jen, Hi. because you are an amazing woman. And I was like, I can't, couldn't wait to have you here tonight. How are you? I'm awesome. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's move your microphone okay. very close to your mouth. So okay. we're going to have a very nice conversation tonight. Oh, we get some coffee. Yeah. Yay. Thank you. So we have our coffee right now. Wait, it's hot. Yeah, it feels hot. So Jennifer. Yes. Yeah, I'm very excited because you are like for me, like a superhero. <laughs> like honestly, yeah, the things you do, the way you do stuff, you look always gorgeous. And I know we are humans and maybe you may cry sometimes, but you look gorgeous and empowered the whole time. So Thank I really you. like that. That I means really a like lot that. to me coming from you. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're so amazing. Because I admire you as well. So. Oh my God. Thank you. You must oh, I know that. that. <laughs> yes. You've got a presence like no other. I love, uh, I love your energy and I love being around you. So, and I was so sweet. I was very honored that you asked me to come here today. Thank, Thank you, you, Jen. Mm -hmm. I met Jennifer at uh, Miss Universe Canada. Right. Actually, she was judging and it was two years ago, right? Yeah, two years. I met her and I'm like, oh my God, this woman, she got the energy of a rocket. Like, oh my goodness. And she, um, the way I met her was because she represents a, a business, which is a hair business, right? It's a hair product. And I really love this product because honestly, the smell, the texture, and the fact that it's a very natural product, it calls my attention. When I visit, uh, we visit, um, the, the um, facility facility the, where they where they produce everything they produce all the, the the products oh my god it was amazing to know about that the name means mother nature right yes so that means a lot <laughs> you listened <laughs> you oh listened. i listened oh yeah, yes you. and being a new company actually is growing so fast crazy fast. in a crazy way that Oh my goodness. This is a way to invite people these days to create their own income or separate income or a side income from this type of company, right? So direct sales uh, are becoming the new way to do business. Well, multiple streams of income exactly. is, is the way to be. <laughs> and, and, to. and especially because it's beauty, you know, this is a product that you use and it goes through the washroom yeah and you have to do it again and consume it again <laughs> so it's something that you, do, you you never lose with that right so makeup so three industries in the world are always on even in war times which is cigarettes liquor and cosmetics <laughs> did you know that <laughs> No, I, I, oh, yeah, I no, didn't think I of did that, but research. it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh my goodness. Even when you feel the press, of course, people consume cigarettes, liquor. And women, they go to the store and buy something to feel better. And when more. I'm nervous, I put more exactly. makeup on. Yeah. So I'm, I wanted to tell before we continue um, with Monet, because this is the way we pronounce, right? Monet. Monet. Because it's yeah. Mother Nature, Monet. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay, you tell me, you teach me how to yes. do it. But I want to talk about you, how to, who you are, who's Jennifer DeCanzo. I was reading about your story that your your younger age, like 18 year old, you decided to move from home and become a police officer. Mm -hmm. That called my attention because this is a really tough career for a woman. And I really like to know why exactly, why? What's the, what's your why? When you said, I wanted to be a police officer, why? So I didn't know that I wanted to become a police officer. I didn't, it wasn't something I was born with. I'm four foot 10 and a half. I'm very short. <laughs> so I, I grew up in Manitoba in a very small prairie town. Mm -hmm. We didn't have police officers around us. So not only was there no, no police officers oh, around us. You don't have the role model. I didn't have the role model. And certainly I never, ever saw a female police officer. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So it wasn't, you know, other than the police academy, you know, little hooks yeah. on police academy, other than that one that, you know, the female that they kind of made fun of, <laughs> being a female police officer, I, it didn't, it didn't 
I guess I wasn't drawn to, to that. So uh -huh. it, it came to me, I've been a police officer now 12 years. Wow, 12 years. Yes. When is I your know. anniversary? September 20, September 11th. I can't so forget that day. happy anniversary because recently you got the 12 year. Oh my God, congratulations. Thank you. Thank so. you. It doesn't seem like 12 years though because it's... Um, you enjoyed it? It's gone by so fast. People say that your career is going to go by fast, but it, it really, it's like flown by. Oh my God. So you were telling me that you never had the role model. You never see police officer around you. So how come you said, okay, I want to be a police officer? I knew that I wanted to uh, do more. And in order for mm. me to be able to do more and reach communities and uh, just get out there to do what I know that my heart wanted to do uh, was to wow. get right into the community. And so that's why it just, it, it was a calling for me and it's turned into a beautiful career and it's turned into, it's opened my, um, it's opened my, my life up to um, charity work that I do. Wow. Uh, and it's given me everything, uh, opened all the doors that I wanted it to. Wow, Jennifer, this is amazing because, you know, uh, community is very important. And it, this is something that I re it really, it really dr drives me. Like, like um, it's a feeling that I have that I need to be doing something for the community. And I always teach my daughters, like, if you're not doing something for someone, you're not doing anything in this world. Right, so you have to do something for somebody. You have to. have to. This is something that it has to be there. Otherwise, not doing anything. And this is very beautiful because you said, "I need the power." I feel that you said, "If I am a police officer, I'm going to have the power to mm -hmm. do what I want to do in a community." And I know you have to be tough. How do you deal with this side of being a woman? Because you have that side that is feminine, that is nurtured, that is like a female character doing stuff that is really tough. That's As, a great question. Right? Right? Like a crime thing. Yes. Like people with so, you know, really mm -hmm. um, tough lives, yeah. you know, rough. That's a great question because, uh, and that brings me to my girls group. But what happens is when, when you become a police officer, you're right. We're in the same uniform. It's kind of... It's not very girly. Um, it's you know very kind of kind of look like a rectangle. It's not <laughs> it's not flattering. There's no curves that are shown. It's very and it's you know it's not supposed to be a sexy outfit. It's right, but uh, it's not female designed. I designed, guess, right? But I wanted to tell you something before you continue. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. You guys look hot <laughs> on those uniforms. <laughs> I don't Honestly, no, 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 no. Me, when I see I a police officer, I'm like, oh my gosh, she looks so hot. No. <laughs> oh God, yes. It's the last honestly. thing I feel, but thank you. No, uh, honestly. But as far as being a female, um, so when I joined, it's such a great question you have because I haven't thought about this for a while. Um, I, I, like, I sometimes have a high, you'll hear, and maybe you have already, <laughs> I have a high pitch kind of like giggle, like, right, right. <laughs> um, I stand, I'm petite. I, I like doing my nails. Mm -hmm. I like wearing lipstick. Of course. Uh, I, and look at your hair. I, I love wearing makeup. I like doing my hair. Um, obviously, we have uh, stringent rules. We have to have our hair tied back oh, tight yeah. in a bun, but it's still styled. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I still have, you know, but when I first joined, I struggled with am I allowed to be that feminine. much, that feminine? feminine of a female feminine. exactly and i struggled with it and it was a, a war <gasps> and it wasn't until so i my girls group that i'll tell you about is called girls will be girls yeah, i want to talk about that and why why that kind of came into play was when i when i started girls will be girls it was a lot to do with my own struggles in my head that i was going through as even a police officer oh really because I wasn't allowed to be a girl in my mind. I wasn't allowed to be feminine. I wasn't, and I was like, no, damn it. Girls will, will be, be girls. girls. And I, this is how you yeah. baptize the group. That is. This is the name. That is. I was about to mention that after because that really connects you with community and with the feeling of being a hero because to me, police officers are heroes because you are exposed to everything out there. Every single time you are working, you are exposed to danger, to like many things that we are not 
civils. We are home. And you usually, you tell me, oh, I have night shift. And I'm like, oh, my God. I had night shift last night. Exactly. So it's really <laughs> so it's kind of noon right now. It's kind of for, for you, it's lunch noon. time. It's lunch yes. time. So that's why I'm having coffee. <laughs> that's why we're having a coffee. Uh, so for me, you guys are superheroes. And then when we were, I, I was checking you when I follow you, of course, since I met you, because I really like that group that you found. Girls will be girls. My God, I always tell you, I want to do something with you. It's like, I really want to support. I really, I really want to give something to them. Yes. Right? Not only just uh, stuff. Yes. But more than that. It's your heart. It comes exactly, from your heart. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I get it. Exactly. I get it. And I am really proud of you because these girls are coming from sectors that are very uh, in danger. It's very vulnerable. Yeah. Very where, where, When crime is very high, you know, and um, it's, they have a potential danger all the time. So when they wake up, they are thinking, oh, my God, what is going to happen today? Am I safe? Should I live like this? Is this the life that I should live my whole life? Mm -hmm. So I really like the fact that you are telling them with the group, mentoring them to see the world in a different way. Yes. Like they deserve better. They deserve better. It's not that because they were, they were born that way or in these conditions, they need to stay that way. Mm -hmm. And so. they have wonderful, you know, um, you know, families around them. It's just, yeah, unfortunate it's just situations. The environment. the environment is what's bad. So we, I know as a, as an officer, like I know that you know they come from very high risk and high, high risk. crime. So it's high risk, high crime, and they're surrounded by that. So they see that, and when they see police officers, it's in not so, It's not a favorable way. They're not, you know, when they see an officer generally in their in their area, it's it's not for good things. So. That gets so, implanted and, yeah, in them. Yeah, in their minds, uh, seeing a police officer is because something wrong is happening. That's right. Because something bad is happening That's around right. me. So you, the, th that phase, it reminds them, and maybe they have the mindset of danger. And like, also, yeah, and also, too, I've got a lot of girls in my group who are from other countries where police officers aren't necessarily... Um, the good guys, if, you, oh, if I gotcha. may. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So coming to Canada... It's a real adjustment because the parents, they don't, you know, they don't know how to trust us. Mm -hmm. They don't know this way of life that the police yeah. are we're actually looking out for them and we're on their side and it's not, a, you know, corrupt. And so that's an adjustment as well with our immigrant, um, you know, children that come through. So it's, mm -hmm. it's dealing with a lot of different areas of emotions and backgrounds and feelings. And so... Bringing us all together and building that trust and that bond and that togetherness as a girls group and that girl empowerment is is something I never thought, I never dreamed that could flourish how it has. Wow. I started with four girls. That's what I was about to ask you. How do you start it? Who did you invite it? How do you said, okay, I'm going to do this and this is going to be my first girl or this is going to be the way that I'm going to do it? How that... I had Starting no idea. I basically received a call for bullying, a call for service for bullying. I ended up at the school, with a, an elementary school, and mm -hmm. I handled it. And the principal was like, you know, Jennifer, you handled this amazing. Can you come back next week and follow oh. up? But generally, as a frontline officer, it's very difficult to follow because we're call to call. So it's uh -huh. hard to follow up. So we're call to call to call. But I said, yes, I'll, I'll definitely do my best. So the following week, I came back to the school. And we rectified the bullying situation that had been going on apparently for months. Oh, wow. um, the parents, they had had multiple meetings, but it just took maybe someone from the outside to come in. Mm -hmm. Someone that they felt that they could, um, they could talk to, someone that they could uh, relate with. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just brought myself down to their level. Mm -hmm. So I removed myself as a police officer, removed myself as a, like a, a teacher or a parent, and I just was there to care. And listen. Care. As a friend, I was like, you can tell me whatever. And so what happened was um, she, the principal, I'll never forget the day, um, 11 years ago, she said to me, would you be wanting, could you start a, a, gr a girl kind of program something here? Uh -huh. And I was like, 
I, 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 oh, I guess wow. I, I guess I could. Like I've always wanted to do that. Like, but I didn't know how. Uh, let, let's try. Let you had me four kids that are <gasps> from different. You know, the bull. I want the bullies. I want the, the, the hard ones. I want the extroverts. I want the introverts. <laughs> I want the you know, new to Canada. Oh my god! I want them all, and I you know. So she brought four. Um, they were handpicked, and it was it was awesome. It was it was such a great um, first meeting. But I have to say that one of the no, that totally. that the girls looked up at me, and they were they'd look up and they were like, at one moment they were like. Why is there a police officer wanting us to talk to them right now? They were confused, right? They were wondering why I wanted to bring them into a group. As excited as they were to be chosen, they were like, well, wait a second. This is a police officer. <laughs> so, again, I had to remove myself as all those, you know, wearing those hats of authority and put myself in on the friend zone. And it took a while to build the friendship and trust. But it happened. And every two years, I get four more new girls. And so what happens is um, those girls then become the alumni, and then I get the four new ones in, the youngest oh ones. Oh, my God. So my youngest is five, and my oldest now are 21. I am, I'm proud to say I have 35 young girls that have joined Girls <gasps> oh Will Be God. Girls in 11 years. Yes. Jennifer, I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This is amazing. So things are like when you have the opportunity and you take it, see what happened like oh my god something that you were being dreaming about happens because you had a police situation and then became something like it was your dream wow all i thought was i wanted to help other i want i i was bullied as a child when oh, i was a, okay. when i was a teenager so i'm adopted um oh, okay, and i was okay. raised in a very small small town. town my parents were like you know six feet tall and white and then okay incoming this little four foot ten and a half didn't know what I was. Okay. Didn't have a. Didn't have any idea what my nationality was. But I was always taught to not look at skin color, to look beyond that, and that any skin color of any color is is beautiful, and it's just different shades, like yeah, the rainbow. Yeah, like the rainbow. So my parents That's taught true. me that we just. It's like the rainbow. It's just a different color. And um, growing up in Manitoba, there wasn't. We in a smaller town. We didn't have um, a lot of different cultures mm -hmm. i must say so i learned more of that when i came to toronto but still how i was raised in the morale and who i am inside is it really doesn't like when it comes to accents skin color eye color uh it, it's to me it's beautiful it's mm -hmm. beautiful the differences we have and so that's what i try to teach my young girls is to embrace exactly who oh, you are, are everything about them you know, from their ears to their lips to their nose to their cheeks, like everything about them is so unique. No two people are the same. So instead of looking at someone and saying... And compare yourself. Because we do. Oh, we yeah. do. We do. <laughs> right? We 100% do. You know, I wish I had this. I, oh, I wish yeah. I had her height. I wish I had her this. You know, and we get caught up in that a little too much, especially mm -hmm. as women. And it's so refreshing to see now the younger generation... You know, after teaching them and after them, you know, they're empowered and they can teach others and just That's let that beautiful trickle. beautiful because that message is so empowering. Like, mm -hmm. you're beautiful the way you are. We are like a rainbow. And I really like Canada because we have a multicultural... Melting pot. <laughs> oh, my God. It's about everybody. Everybody's yeah. pretty. Everybody has different, you know, skills and... Um, many um, artistic skills or whatever they have is so beautiful and the things that you empower them because um, talking about artistic skills i went to uh, you invite me to an event yes the other day it was a monad event and i really like the way they sing they <laughs> dance and they feel so empowered i really love what they said at the end our it's motto. like their motto <laughs> yeah. i was like yeah. i almost cry because you know. it was it is so empowering mm -hmm. and i asked you who who did it who created it? and it was you i was like just oh. off a whim it was just quickly i said we i'm beautiful it was, oh my god that it was, was like so a prayer empowering. it was a prayer it was a prayer so how it started was i can, I you, can you tell me that can you recite that i can recite now? yes of course i can recite it yes yeah. um so what happened was uh, we were it was just we were sitting in the classroom and 
I, I said, you know what, let's, uh, we, it was a hard week. I remember it being a hard week for some of the kids. And I said, you know what, you, you, we need to embrace who we are and, and repeat this every, mm -hmm. every day. And I just started writing mm -hmm. and I, then I wrote it up on the chalkboard. I'm like, can we read some of this out? And that turned into what we started reading weekly. I didn't think that these four kids would memorize it. And then the next four and the next thing, you know, oh I, my I have 35 kids plus, a lot of other people have been using it because we've done different TV shows and talk shows and, and wow. other people have taken that off the internet and used it with their children and it just means so much. Looking back, maybe I could have made it grammatically a bit better, but it's, all, it's, it's purely straight from the heart and, and it happened on a moment where they needed it, they needed to feel empowered. And every single time they say the motto, uh. it's they're ready, they're ready to take on the world. They make the world shake. Whatever, yeah, whatever happens that day, it was like, oh my God. It like, it's from the heart. Exactly. And they said it like with power, with energy, they feel it. They feel it. They feel it. That's so beautiful because I said, oh my God, they're not even saying it. They are feeling it. And I'm glad and you pointed me, that out. Yeah. Because I, I am very, you know, observant. observant. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> and I noticed that and I said, oh my God, I told my kids, my daughters, because I always talked about, um, to my daughters about girls will be girls. My little daughter, she's always interested. She's like, mom, I want to be part of it. I want oh, to help her. I want to be doing something. Let me know what can I do? And I'm like, let me talk to Jen yes. tonight. We're going to be what? can you do <laughs> mm -hmm. and then she do was this. offering yeah help because i said sophia you need to see how this girl say the, the motto in a way that is so powerful that you can feel it my heart was like <sighs> melting and and, and again thank you for saying that uh because part of what uh i teach is not just words i love you mm -hmm. the words i love you the words you know um uh, I promise. Do you promise? Do you, Do you really, love me? Do, Do you, you really love, me? love me? You know, um, how are you? Uh, all of those things. Do you care about the words that you're saying? Or are you just saying it and following because that's what you think this should be said? This is what you have to say. Right? Mm -hmm. Are you reading it because you finally memorized these words and this is our motto. It's called a motto. Or every single word are you ingesting it and when you are saying it to others and out are you inspiring because at the end of the day saying the words means nothing nothing feeling it and inspiring and it means projects. means everything it projects it projects you project it that means everything so that means that you're doing a great job to be honest to me thank you that was like the cherry on top that night and i was like <laughs> They not only dance, they not only sing, they are so skilled, they are so talented, but Jen is doing a great job as a mother because I feel like you are the mother of all of these girls, right? But when you feel bad, when they make you feel those things, it's because you're doing a great job. And I'm very proud of you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much for being, for doing this for the community because this is very important. Thank you. Youth is very important. Very important. Very very, very everybody right but specifically these girls because girls they are nurtured right they are mother they're going to be mothers they're going to have their own families mm -hmm. and you know family is where everything starts yeah right so it's very important and i really appreciate that as a civil as a friend as a <laughs> you know i really admire your work a fellow admire. female warrior yeah, right? you are. Fellow female warrior. We Fellow are. Female. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So we're coming back after commercials, okay? So stick to us. Stay around. <laughs> Sabemos que tu casa es tu mayor inversión. Marcela Cano, Carlos Zuluaga. Si quieres vender o comprar. Tu casa es nuestra prioridad. Para mayor información, 647-297-0506 y 647-404-2171. La comunidad cristiana Idelán Monte de Santidad le invita a sus reuniones de crecimiento espiritual. Cada domingo a las 10.30 de la mañana en 49 Sandringham de Brampton, Ontario. 
También puedes acompañarnos los viernes a las 6.30 de la tarde para estudiar juntos la Palabra de Dios. Y si te encuentras en Toronto, estamos en el 88 Park Lawn en Etobicoke. Todos los miércoles a las 7 de la noche, juntos creceremos espiritualmente estudiando esa hermosa Palabra de Dios. Ven y compartamos juntos este tiempo de edificación espiritual. Te esperamos. Obleas and Waffles to Go se prepara para darte lo mejor, pero para esta Navidad encuentra nuestras anchetas navideñas con arequipe, strawberry jam, blackberry jam y las famosas obleas de Obleas and Waffles to Go. Próximamente les contaremos en dónde vamos a estar ubicados. Contáctanos y haz tu pedido. I will not be a follower, I will be a leader at school and in my personal life. I will reach for the stars and no matter the outcome, I will learn on my free. I am a beautiful We are back. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer, Hello. for being here. I enjoyed so much talking to you. And thank you very much for this. Look, guys. This is my Christmas Merry Christmas. Gift. Thank you so much. That's so lovely. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So um, people are uh, watching the video that uh, we have um, in our studio in regards to what the girls do uh, when they have events and stuff like that. Uh, you invite me the other day to a very uh, nice event. I really appreciate that invitation because I enjoyed it so much. Um, it was very informative, it was very educational, and in terms of um, doing a business or starting your business, it's very important to be educated about the new generation of business. It was very nice. But I saw the girls you over saw, there. They were there. <laughs> they performed. And I really loved the little one. She was so energetic and she wants to be like, when I put my phone like close to her, she was like, oh my God, giving everything to her. <laughs> She was giving all. <laughs> Bless her heart. Her. She's so cute. Bless her heart. And you she's, would, the, she's the youngest. She's the youngest. You wouldn't know that she went through major trauma that week. You wouldn't know by their smiles, by their, by their laughter, by their love, um, some of the stuff they've endured. And that little one was the one who... Um, who had the their family had the house fire house fire and lost everything okay. so that was uh you know it's just amazing that song and dance which what they were doing puts a smile on it like music i don't it's know about you but music Jan, because after that a fire in your home is like very traumatizing like you'll be devastated and like mm -hmm. dancing or singing will be the last thing you will mm -hmm. think about Mm -hmm. But these kids, they are so pure and innocent mm -hmm. that they are teaching you a lesson. Like, they, they do, life they goes on. They teach us so much. We don't realize. It. We need to think more like a child sometimes. Exactly. No, exactly. Simplify because life. Because we miss a lot of things. Thinking about money or problems or what we're going to do next. And we miss all those things. And I really like um, the way you're uh, managing all this. And can you share? I don't know if it's possible. A little bit what type of problems i know is very private sometimes you cannot share everything mm -hmm. but at least something that, to give us an idea what happened inside of the, their houses mm -hmm. how what type of uh risk they are you know exposed mm -hmm. to well there's a lot of um there's a lot of high priority calls um there's a lot of gun violence in their areas uh so uh, a lot of gang activities. Mm -hmm. So there is, there's a lot of different areas and that are not positive. And wow. they're subjected to these uh, individuals and this kind of life. And again, seeing police officers on the not so good okay. days. And so um, a lot of them do not have fathers, unfortunately. Oh, there's wow. fathers. fosters. They are foster kids? No, no not foster kids. Um, some of them have gone into foster care, but there's uh, single moms. There's a lot of Got single it. moms that Got work it. really hard, that try to do multiple jobs, so they're not always there. Mm. Um, they're not always present. They, they can't so, be stay-at-home oh, wow. moms. Um, and there's, uh, with the young girls, there is mental health issues, right? Um, oh deal, deal a lot with some mental health issues. Um, 
uh, and then just being from the high risk, high crime areas, like their their nu nutrition sometimes isn't up to par. Uh, educating on personal hygiene, um, educating on just dreaming bigger, Dream dreaming bigger than dreaming where they're bigger. living, li living, and dreaming bigger than uh, you know what their surroundings are. So that to me is really really important. Is to show them um, a different life and to. to just base it. It sounds cliche, but anything they put their mind to, they can do it. They can do it. I've always firmly believed that. And if you really believe those words, That's again, true. I can say all these cliche That's words true. like this. But if you that don't believe it, and you're not you're not manifesting that, it's not just words. It's just, just words. words. Yeah, it's yeah. true. And it's just planting the seed on people's mind. Yeah. To make it grow, right? And it's everybody can do wonders with the brain, but we don't use it. We don't use it. We don't, we don't use, use this it. much. It's yeah. like 10%. Yeah. We are using 10% of the 100 mm -hmm. that we have, the potential. We're not using it. It's really sad. I don't want to talk about it. I know. I know. <laughs> it's really sad. So tell us a little bit, jump into another subject that is connected to the girls anyways. Even it's an, uh, it is beauty. So how Monette is helping girls? Well, be girls. well, how it's helping. Well, I'll I'll start by telling you just how how I actually connect. How, how, connect how I it? found these awesome beauties is I um, so my birth mother has uh, had thyroid uh, cancer mm -hmm. uh, and tumors in her brain. My adopted mother um, oh, has yeah. multiple sclerosis. And so what that means to me is toxins in the body, toxins, oh, toxins, okay. toxins. And so I've always been a huge advocate on doing my best to, you know, choose your poisons, right? Choose, uh, your, poisons. choose your poisons. But um, I started looking up hair care. I started looking up hair care that had natural ingredients, botanically based, things that were, you know, good for our hair and environment. And uh, out came Monet. So I ordered a big pack. Big pack came in, um, and lo and behold, my family loved it, and I start. I loved it. My hair started growing. I love your hair. Thank so you. So if you, I love time, it again too. Every time that you post something, I'm like, oh, I want to do that, but you know what? I cut it. <laughs> yeah, but I love this though too. This is beautiful. Like uh, this Thank is such you. a statement. This this takes a lot of work and drawing yeah, this whatever. So but um, thank you. I. My hair wasn't always this manageable, I guess you'd say. I'm 42 now, mm -hmm. and uh, oh, I've always had... gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've always had long hair, um, but I would have to wash it every other day from... It'd get oily or dandruff. Um, oh. My curls wouldn't stay, um, oh, wow. and it definitely wouldn't grow... Let me see. It definitely wouldn't grow, like, long. That's one thing it would not do. It would it would st sit at a certain Stay length. Certain length. Oh, that happens to my daughter. And so that's we can, oh. that's caused a lot from blocked follicles. So when your when your scalp is has blocked follicles from things like bad dry shampoo, uh, from bad shampoos and conditioners that have you know paraben sulfate waxes, mm -hmm. um, it, it creates that buildup. And when mm -hmm. your follicles are 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 blocked. blocked they can't it's like oxygen, like like a plant. Uh -huh. If you have a plant that doesn't have any oxygen, like going into the They're root area, grow. well, it's gonna s slowly die down. And also the very end, it's, the oxygen is not gonna hit your ends. Mm -hmm. It's gonna just that's why up here feels nice and and healthy, but down here doesn't get enough oxygen, Got and it. it's gonna be dry, dry, dry at your ends. So I was I was famous for doing this with my hair biting off the split ends Listen. it like crazy oh. my hair was greasy every other day having mm -hmm. to wash it and i literally i wish i had my before picture up for you guys but uh my, i thought as a police officer as well that i was thinning back here and my i was receding back uh, but i'll have to get you that picture remind me um i thought it was from pulling my hair back or just so you age. Have, like some spots like i had this <gasps> receding all back on both sides and I thought it's just age, because uh -huh. that's happened, right? Things happen. Things, changes happen. We all <laughs> know that. <laughs> Gravity sets in. Everything happens. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole other show. But um, <laughs> so my hairline started to grow back. And it literally, my hair started to grow longer. Um, all of a sudden, I was going to day two hair, day three, day four. And then my friends and family and my colleagues, like female colleagues, officers were like, mm -hmm. um, how... 
what do you what you doing to your hair? I'm like, I'm just changed up my shampoo, <laughs> and I'm you're not and you using. Promote that among your colleagues, your well, the officers. Well, as females, we yeah. know this. If you find a good lipstick. <laughs> Are you not saying this stuff really plumps my lips? You know, the, I want you know, this one, you know, and you'll be like, what are you using? You know, and, and you share, you say, this is what I'm using. This is how I use it. Mm -hmm. So I'm at work and I'm busy here with my, my, oh, you my show spray. Your products, Anna. I, but I wasn't meaning to. It was just I know, because, it's just because I'm going to tell you, I ordered a product pack and that allowed me to sell, but I work 10, 12 hour shifts. I run a children's program that I'm available 24 seven for them. Oh my God. I help my family, my parents with home care. Mm -hmm. um, they don't live around me. So it's a lot of work on okay. the phone and, and mm -hmm. time and taxing. Um, I have my own home. And so the thought to sell was like, no, no, no. no. I, I, do, I do not have time. And I said, I'll buy a big product pack, but I'm not selling. And the, and the lady said to me, you know what? You don't have to, there's no quotas. There's nothing. You try it and Listen. you can, you can try this risk-free for 30 days um, and see if you like it. And if you don't like it, you send it back and it's 100% um, money back guarantee, or money back refund. So I said, you know what? I'm going to try. So when I tried it, my hair started growing, this, that, whatever. People started asking, how do you order it? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so I figured out, you just go to my website and you log in. And next thing you know, I got one client, then they told somebody else. And that turned into um, a little side side business for me. Wow. And I'm almost making as much, just as a little side biz, on my phone. It's all done through my phone. If somebody needs product knowledge on something or they want to know my hair is thin and it's you know thinning here or it's curly or it's dry ends, what do I need? I can do this all on my, my phone. I can do it while do I'm waiting in the time? dentist office. Okay. I can do it while I'm waiting in the dentist office. I can do it while I'm waiting for the subway. I can do it wow. wherever. I can do conference calls with my team. It's I can do this on the fly. Oh God. So if you're listening, you have the opportunity to have to jump in a new business. If you are thinking like, oh, what am I going to do? I'm home. I don't know what to do. Or I'm working a lot of hours, but I need an extra income. So you recommend Monet. Look like a source of extra income for people. It can be, if you just want to be a VIP customer, you can order your yeah, shampoo, conditioner, and a cleanser. You can get some oil, whatever. But if you want to join the business side of it, there's no pressure to sell, but you That's still, you awesome. get it. And you get a nice product, cares about your hair because look, it helps grow your hair again. Feels good. So yeah. what's your Instagram, Jen, to for people to follow for this particular for this product, product it's Jen dot Monate so J E N dot Monate M O N A T and that's Perfect. the so follow yeah. Jen on her business Instagram page and you can get these amazing products I can recommend you because we use it with Miss Universe girls oh my god and it was amazing so we are about to start the raffle the contest Ooh, ah. yeah. Before we close the program, we're going to announce the winner, and she's going to be responsible to uh. announce the winner. <laughs> so the way we're going to do is three, three, are uh, you going to pick three? Three? First is going to be eliminated. Ooh. The second one is going to be eliminated, too. And the third one is going to be the winner. <gasps> I announced that the first two that are eliminated, they're going to receive two makeup products, so they are not losing Okay, <laughs> they're not quite eliminated. Yeah. yeah it's okay, fair. good. Okay. To make it like fun. All right, this is our ballot thing. So, guys, you can see we have all the names. So, this is the people that share our program along those uh, eight weeks, right? So, we're going to pick the name and Jen is going to do it. We're going to mix the thing. So, if you can. Okay, and I'll look away. Look away. So we're going to announce the winner of Extreme Change. You know, they're going to have a haircut, hair color, makeup, what? and a one piece from a designer. What? Yeah, okay. Oh, cool? good. Oh, goodness. <laughs> How many you times you put the name there? No. Okay. <laughs> Jen, this is going to be the first name. Okay, okay Jen. This one here is the... This is for two makeup products. Okay. Here we go. All right, so we got the name over here. Pay attention. 
Janis Ladies Perez, you are one of the winners of two makeup products. Are you connected? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Good job. All right. Yay. Okay, number two. Okay. Here we go. Number two. You can mix it. Okay. Yeah, I'm mixing it around, <laughs> mixing it around. Second name for to make a product. Here it is. All right. Here Drum it roll. Is. <laughs> Blanca Carvajal. Woohoo! Bravo. Bravo, Blanquita. Te ganaste dos premios, dos uh, productos de maquillaje. All right, now the winner. <laughs> Let's do it again. Just mix that okay, up. Okay, I'll mix it up. <laughs> mixing it up, mixing it up, mixing yeah. it up. <laughs> and the winner. Good the, luck to the winner. Let's see who it is. The winner is. Can you announce it? You, I'll you announce it. it? Okay. Yeah. The winner is Laura Gomez. Oh my God. <laughs> Yay. So thank you very much for participating. Thank you so much for sharing the love. Thank you for being here with us every Monday, 8 p.m. Uh, we have amazing stories. See, we have Jennifer tonight. And she was sharing amazing things about Girls Will Be Girls, Monade, and about herself. I am very happy to have you today, I'm tonight. And I hope you you having a night shift tonight again? No night shift. I'm done now. <laughs> I'm done. So you're going to sleep now. Yeah. Finito. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. So thank you so much. Congratulations thank to you. all the winners. Please get in touch with us. Send us your uh, contact, phone number, the address, or where do you want, or you maybe you want to come to the studio and receive the, 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 the products. And we're going to talk to Laura in order to make sure we're going to give her all the, um, the things that we promised for the... Uh, contest. Okay, so see you next Monday, 8 p.m. Bye bye. Take care. Yay. 12 en línea TV, tu nueva opción en radio online. Síguenos en redes sociales como 12 en línea TV. Porque dos es mejor que uno. Por eso ustedes y nosotros somos 12 en línea. 12 en línea TV, la, la nueva, nueva propuesta, propuesta en radio digital. digital.